Hello, welcome to Research Learning Algorithms. Today, I will discuss still on looking for your topics. Many students submit all sorts of topics to their advisors and end up being rejected. Like in my case, my students probably receive seven rejection, rejections of topics or more just to maintain quota in each of their paper. So it can be numerous. Now, if you don't want to get rejected, I will show you a model in this video. Yes, a model research that will give you the criteria to arrive at your most researchable topic. The purpose of this model is to provide as many topics as you can without sacrificing a researchable topic. Because students' titles or topics get projected because of the topics or titles were studies created after World War II. I'm just kidding. So this model, I call it the topic decision model. Why I call it that way, okay, I haven't figured it out totally, but it's a work in progress. This model will make you or even your advisor arrive at decisions. So yeah, you're gonna be making weighted decisions here. Now you see the concepts included in the model. First thing that you need to do is to write or think of a topic or even topics that you are really interested at. So a research topic that is interesting for you, it can be anything, then write that topic or those topics in the circle. Second, write topics which you think the world needs right now. You can actually base this on current events or news and televisions or newspapers. Third, topics that you should think are needed to improve policy or those topics that are irrelevant to create alternative policies. Fourth is yes to find a gap in the literature. In this fourth concept of the model, there are many ways that you can do to find a gap, but I will discuss that one in another video because that requires a lengthy discussion. So those are considerations to find out what researchable topics you can work on. So easy, right? Now, we are going to consider the weighted decision-making part of the model, the inner portion. If you have already stated your topic or topics in each circle, you have to decide. In order to contribute to the scientific community, for example, will I choose the topic which address the scholarly gap or will I choose that which I'm really interested to work on? Another, will I choose that which interests me or the topic which the world needs? Will I choose the topic that the world needs or that which can improve policy in my workplace or at the government? Will I choose the topic that can address a scholarly gap or that topic which can be relevant to policy? So those contributions inside the circles are additional criteria to strengthen your final research topic to work on. Now let's take a look at my sample. So here, I would like to address gaps in the literature. So I'll go with the topic on accreditation. Now if you see there, I've written that enough studies are made on the reasons of failure of all students in the accreditation and equivalency test. That'd be 2012. So if you see that statement, that is already a sign that it is a literature gap. So that's why I stated it there. But just take note that that is just a made up uh, literature. Uh, it's not really existing. Okay, so that's my literature gap. Now let's go to the topic that really interests me. I'm really interested in the topic about women empowerment as well. So I will decide to write here women empowerment in the midst of male dominated professions. But what would I choose? So I would write in the, in the contribution for scientific community to look for gaps in the literature about women empowerment so that I can have a title there inside the inner portion. Another on the contribution to uh, contribution for society. So currently the world really needs to help teenagers attitude and what I've written there is in my discipline the current news talks about the, the need to address the narcissism issue 
issues of students due to social media influence. Um, again, I'm interested in women empowerment. That's another consideration. So since both my topics can actually contribute to society, but the most that I can relate to my degree in education is also practical for me. So I would like to study about women because narcissism is on psychology and so it's not that realistic. So on and so forth, darling. So you just have to make the right decision about that. And there are so many considerations that you will need to do in order to come up with the researchable topic. So you just have to fill that one in, the inner portion. So there are four inner portions and you can write their statements for your topics. So from four topics, you can make eight topics or even more when you use this model. So suppose I already finished all of those circles and then the inner portions. I have to choose which is the most realistic, time-bounded, and achievable for me and other considerations such as that based on the four different contributions. I will make the final decision out of those researchable topics. So again, you should be able to arrive at the final topic that have all of those set criteria. And I hope that this research, research model can help you out on your decision-making process of looking for your researchable topic remember that not all topics are I mean not all problems are researchable so make sure to evaluate your topics based on the model and that's it everyone thanks for watching